So what are you going to do? You have that choice. As we said before, you're that you're not tempted above that you're able, that he will with every temptation make a way of escape. What is the way of escape? Every temptation, the spirit of the God, the spirit of the Lord comes in mightily. And so you have a choice. You can reaffirm your choice that when you gave your life to Christ and say, Okay, God, it's my life is still yours. Go ahead, have your way, deal with it. I choose to follow Jesus. I choose to follow, follow the Spirit of the Lord. I choose to allow the Spirit of God to deal with my flesh, to, to put it to death. Why? One, so that it doesn't hear, and hinder my relationship with Jesus. Jesus has no part with flesh. Jesus has no part with uncrucified flesh. He can't even relate. To, I mean, he can relate to it in the sense that he was tempted to and like as we are, but found to be faithful. Never found to give in to the temptation. But in the sense of agreement, he's not going to agree with your flesh. No way, no how. He will always agree for to with the will of God for your life. The purpose and plan. That's to get you to heaven. <laughs> We're not talking about some great work, ministry, blah, blah, blah. Although he, as you see from here, that others were ministered to as a result. Do you want to be effective to your family? Do you want to effectively uh, pray for your family? And allow God to kill the lion in your life. Amen? Because then his father, his mother, and the rest of his family were ate, ate of the blessing of it. This is a real, real example to Samson. If you and later on, we'll see, and we may continue on to this next week. We'll see that Samson's life, if he would have took this to heart and kept this in mind and kept it in the forefront of his mind, he might not have had the troubles he had later on in his life. He might have used this and saw this as God saw this, depicting the life that he could have had. He was telling Samson, Samson, let me let me take control of your life. Samson, let me let me kill this in your life. Let me kill this flesh in your life. And you won't have to go through those things that you're going to have to go through if you choose flesh over the Spirit of God. He yielded to the Spirit of God, didn't he? He should have continued. His life would have been different. The story of his life would have been different, wouldn't it? If you continue to yield to the Spirit of God. So what's your choice today? Are you going to yield to the Spirit of God? Or are you going to yield to the roaring lion? That's your flesh. The roaring lion. Oh, the flesh gets so loud up here sometimes, doesn't it? We must look for the Spirit of God when He comes with that still, small voice. He's not as a roaring lion. He's the still, small voice that says... Can take care of that for you. Will you let me? Will you let me take control? Will you let me have this? Will you let me take this out of your life so that I can place the honey in the honeycomb so that I can give you the joy, the peace, the love that you deserve? You have that choice. What are you going to listen to? The Spirit of God? And reaffirm and reconfirm that which you've given to him, your life? Or are you going to listen to the roaring lion? I'm reminded of another scripture that says that the devil is as a roaring lion. He makes a big noise. Why? The lion roars to see what he can stir up. The lion roars to see what it can scare out of the bushes. <laughs> What he can frighten. What he can get to move with fear. The fear of his voice. And so too the flesh. The devil can't work in your life unless he has flesh. If there's no flesh then there's no way the devil can have an inroad into your life. 
So it is with, but flesh is flesh. Flesh tries to stir you up. Flesh makes a roaring noise to try to motivate you, to motivate you to act in fear, to motivate you to act in unbelief or envy or strife or defeat or discouragement. He tries to get you to motivate. That's flesh. To be condemned instead of convicted. Say, I need to change this. This needs to change. I'm going to give this to Jesus. It says that roaring lion. It's loud, isn't it? It's loud sometimes up here in your mind. But you have to listen to this for the still small voice. How do you do that? It's what you focus your attention on. Where do you keep your focus every day? Where do you focus your, what do you focus your attention on every day? Is it the Spirit of God or is it the flesh? Is it the roaring light? You have the choice to make. Amen? Yours is the choice. His is the action. You make the choice. And if you choose the Spirit of God, then it's His action. If you choose the roaring lion, then it's all you, baby. <laughs> You're on your own. It's all you. But if you choose the still small voice, we said that every opportunity, every circumstance, everything that presents your li- in, in your life on a daily basis, the roaring lion presents itself and the Spirit of God presents itself. And you make the choice. As simple as that. Which you're going after. The blessing, focus your mind. Focus your, your will. Focus your attention. Focus your hopes. Hopes. If you hope for something, you look for it, right? If you hope, if you fo- hope for something, you will look for something. Do you hope for the Spirit of God to set you free today? Do you hope for the Spirit of God to crucify your flesh? Do you hope for the Spirit of God to quiet the roaring lion that's up here in your mind? He's there. You have the choice. Make the right choice today. And then you'll be blessed. Then you'll receive the blessing. Then you'll receive the honey and the honeycomb. And then not only you'll be able to eat of it, but your family will be able to eat of it. Not only those, but those that walk by the carcass were able to feed, were able to partake of the blessing. So what happened here? The Spirit of God came upon Samson and the and the lion was ripped in two. God accepted the sacrifice, like we said last week in, in Elijah and the prophets of or Elijah and the prophets of Baal. That the fire came down and the, the sacrifice was acceptable. And then he gave them the blessing, it was the rain that came. So too here. You want to be blessed? You want to have assurance of You already have assurance of heaven by faith. But do you want to be blessed in this life? Do you want to continue on? Look for, focus your attention on the Spirit of God, not on the roaring light. Amen? Amen.